In this video I'm going to demonstrate the streaming mode to survey lines or areas with Mergin Maps. The streaming mode is different from the position tracking functionality that is also supported by Mergin Maps. Position tracking is used to track your position during a survey, resulting in a line feature without any user-defined attributes that you would have in a survey layer. With streaming mode, however, you can digitize lines or polygons of your survey layers while you are moving in the field. Instead of adding each vertex by tapping the Add icon in the app, this will be automatically done. After digitizing with streaming mode, you can then fill in the form and add the attributes in a normal way. For this purpose, I've loaded the default survey project from Merging Maps, and I'm modifying it to map windmills here as points, because we're going to visit the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Kinderdijk, which has a lot of windmills, and here I embed an SVG file to the project. In this way, it will get synchronized to Merging Maps. I'll increase the marker size a bit. And I change the color a little bit. Next, I'm going to create a lines layer. Create a new geo package. Use the three dots to browse to the folder where you have your project. And I create a layer called root. Change the geometry type to line string. And I want the user to choose the type of root. We're going to create widgets for that. Let's create the widgets in the layer properties of the root layer. I'm using the drag and drop designer and I remove FID. For type, I write an alias root type. I change the widget type to value map so we can create a drop down menu. I type here different root types that the user can select. Let's now check in the project properties if this line layer is uh, not read only, so it's recognized as a survey layer by Merging Maps. And indeed, this layer is not read only. I'll also change the line style a bit, make it thicker. Save the project, and then we're ready to synchronize the project to the Merging Cloud so we can synchronize it to our mobile device to use it for mapping. The first part of my route I do with a bicycle. I tap Add and then I choose the layer that I want to edit and that is the root layer. And there on the right I tap on the two shoes to start the streaming mode. Now I'm in streaming mode and I do a bit of a fast forward and it streams vertices until I stop the streaming mode by tapping it again. Then I tap record. Then I can see the widgets and here I need to choose the root type from the drop down menu as we configured it before in QGIS. And I choose bicycle. Tap on the upper right to save the edits. And now you see that the line is styled with the line color. The next section of my route is by boat. I'm taking my bicycle on the water bus and I follow the Meuse River from Rotterdam to the World Heritage Site. Meanwhile, I'm logging the route with Merging Maps. So here we go. To start mapping this route, I tap Add, make sure that I'm in the route layer, and I tap the two shoes to start the streaming mode. And here it is logging my route. Meanwhile, I'm taking a video here with my mobile phone to see what happens. Unfortunately, on Android you will lose fix. And you also see here that when we have a wrong reading from our GPS or when there's inaccuracies, we will get outliers that we need to fix afterwards. Now I'm at the Kinderdijk World Heritage Site and I'm going to map my route that I take by bicycle past all these beautiful windmills. So let's go. Again, I tap Add. Make sure that I'm in the root layer 
and I tap the two shoes to start logging my route. Start the streaming mode. You see sometimes it gets an outlier, but overall it follows my route quite well. I stop the streaming mode and I tap record to complete this route. And from the drop down, I now choose bicycle. I complete the edits by tapping the upper right. For the way back by boat, I'm going to test a few settings here. So in the settings of merging maps, you can find a section on the streaming mode. You can either choose time elapsed or the distance traveled to add the points. By default, it's the time elapsed and it's set to three seconds. Now I've switched it to distance intervals and I make it 300 meters just to test what happens. In the same way as before, I start mapping by tapping the add button. Make sure that in the root layer, tap the two shoes and tap start streaming mode. Now you'll see that every 300 meters, it adds a vertex, but this setting makes it very sensitive to outliers. I'm on a boat and there's probably a lot of difficulties with the GPS readings with refraction on the water. And it might help to reduce uh, the interval so the corrections uh, later might be easier. So at the end of my route I choose stop streaming mode and I choose here the route type which is boat and I tap the upper right to save the route. Back in the office I synchronize my mobile device with the cloud and the cloud with QGIS using the merging plugin and I obtain this result of the World Heritage site after correcting the outliers of the mapped lines using the streaming mode. 